Hey everybody, my name's Dan Furr and welcome to Sand School. Today I want to teach you about sequencers. So what is a sequencer? Well, like an arpeggiator, a sequencer allows you to play back a series of notes automatically so you don't have to actually play them yourself. But the main difference between a sequencer and an arpeggiator is you actually get to choose what notes play in the sequencer, whereas the arpeggiator it sort of has a pattern rather than notes and you actually have to press the keys. So let's dive on into the base station and see how the sequencer actually works. Like I previously said, with the sequencer you can actually choose which notes you want to play and in which order in the sequence. But you also have to choose how many steps you want the sequence to be. For this example I'm just going to use a basic 8 step sequence to make it nice and simple, but some sequencers go all the way up to 64 steps. So here in my base station sequencer, I have this record mode that allows me to record a sequence. Generally each sequencer is a little bit different, so it might take a little while for you to get accustomed with yours. But this is how the sequencer on the base station works. So as you can see, with record mode enabled, it starts to track every time I hit the key, counting the steps. So once it gets to 8 steps, I know I have an 8 step sequence. And to play back the sequence, all I have to do is switch it to playback mode, and simply push on one key and the whole sequence will play. Now the beauty about a sequencer is I can actually push down different keys, the sequencer will follow the exact same pattern just with a new root note. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Dan Furr. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. As always, have a good one. Cheers.